G'day ladies and gents, welcome to Xris Art. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my inspiration for this painting and that is Mermaid. Uh, for those who are not aware, Mermaid is a month-long celebration in May of creativity, community and above all, mermaids. The sketch prompts for Mermaid 2018 are listed in the description box below. Now I know I'm a bit late on this. <laughs> Uh, but I managed to finish a painting in May. Um, I'm not sure which one of these prompts fit my painting. Maybe you can uh, see which one fits. Uh, perhaps you can leave it in the comments uh, section below. And there's also another challenge. I thought just to mention very quickly, there's also another challenge uh, going on in June and that is Doodle Wash uh, 2018. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description box uh, below for both of these challenges if you wish to go ahead with them. Um, from my research the Doodle Wash challenge is one where you use watercolours. Um, of course uh, simple pen and pencil and ink and what I think is great about these types of challenges um, it helps artists to move forward painting and drawing. Um, there's no excuse you know you know what should I paint or you know what do I draw now or what can I draw? So back to this painting. Uh, in this painting I used just about every type of pastel I have. The art supplies I used are pan pastels, soft pastels or soft and hard pastels, pastel pencils, soft tools by pan pastel, my synthetic brushes, masking film, and um, in a, a kneaded eraser and glass and paper and of course pastel mat. And just wanted to let you know pastel mat also comes in uh, pads of 12 uh, in various colours, comes in large sheets and boards so it might be um, a good idea to check all that out if you can. So first up I placed masking film which is called Express It. Uh, which is a low tack masking film that allows me to work through areas and in this case uh, my background. The cool thing with masking film is I avoid halos around my subject and I work freely without being concerned going out of the lines or section uh, that I'm working on. I apply pan pastels on my background and these pastels are great for covering large areas quickly. Now I know a lot of artists use, this, uh, use them uh, for just that, just the backgrounds, and, and use the pan pastels to mix with other media like for example coloured pencil which, is, uh, which comes to mind. Yes, pan pastels are flexible and uh, a very um, versatile medium for sure. I use soft tools to apply the pan pastels and use my synthetic brushes which work perfectly for my technique. Now when I say uh, synthetic brushes I mean uh, makeup brushes as well which um, I use quite a lot. I continue to chop and change between soft and hard pastels, pastel pencils uh, to get the effect that I want. But I have to say, um, I use a lot of pan pastels in this painting uh, using uh, my brushes alone. Um, I find applying uh, pan pastel with synthetic brushes uh, would probably be my most preferred way of using this medium only because I find I have a lot of control using this medium. And of course, I get a lot of control using um, pan past uh, sorry, pastel pencils as well for details, of course. That goes without saying. What was the, uh, the most challenging thing for me here in this painting was the smaller mermaid's face. I think it was, uh, the reason why it was difficult for me or challenging, because um, I was just trying to get uh, the correct value and the tone, and um, because it was just so tiny, the face was just so tiny. And, and so now I have this newfound respect uh, for those who paint um, and draw miniatures. I mean, I did before, but um, 
it wasn't an, an easy thing for me to do. So if this has been the first time you've vi uh, visited my channel and you would like to view more of my videos, uh, please consider subscribing. I occasionally share ideas and painting techniques and live stream from time to time. And don't forget to click the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on any videos as I upload them. So what I might do is just uh, leave you to view the rest of the demonstration. But until the next time, bye for now. Thank you.